today i am going to explain you predicate predefined functional interface okay so in the last class uh, i have shown you predicate functions uh, consumer supplier all these predefined functional interfaces i have shown you clearly okay i have given you the idea what what is what right but uh, today onwards we are going to see one after another uh, predefined functional interfaces with example detailed example okay no need to worry listen and see carefully so that you will understand the concept clearly okay so what i am going to do here is like uh, i have created the package predicate like uh, as our functional interface lambda method reference uh, similarly predicate i have also created one package right so that whenever i will upload this this uh, project to the git so you you will have the source code of this project okay so without further delay let me write the class that is predicate predicate test okay so before working with the predicate let me tell you like what is a predicate predicate is a predefined functional interface that that is there as part of java.util.function package okay so uh, in java we are using uh, many conditional uh, checks right so whatever we are doing conditional checks like if a greater than b b greater than c some kind of if else kind of themes uh, i have given one particular example a greater than b b greater than c that is a conditional check we are doing okay so similarly whenever there is a there is uh, the condition came that we need to perform some kind of checks so in that case we can make use of this predicate okay or else what we can do predicate is a functional interface which uh, provides like uh, which can be uh, assigned target of a lambda expression or method reference okay how that i am going to show you okay so now let me consider one int r a a r r which is equals to which contains uh, 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay these are the uh, these are the uh, numbers the this array contains okay the my intention here is to find find all even and uh, odd numbers okay so this is our intention by using so this this will do uh, by using java 8 uh, feature okay so both uh, i am uh, i am like i am covering as part of interview perspective as well as your concept perspective okay so what we'll do we'll find even or odd even means what if a number simple if a number is if i divide uh, modulus 2 is equal equals to 0 then this condition holds good then uh, this number is even otherwise odd everyone knows this statement okay so what i am going to do here is like i am going to write lambda expression okay lambda expression lambda if this expression lambda so this is a lambda expression lam, uh, number each for this array each and every number okay for this array each and every number if it is divisible by two uh, giving uh, gives the remainder zero then that number is even okay that we are going to write as part of the lambda expression okay let me write the first write me the main method i will put the code inside this okay so what i am going to do this is a lambda expression okay lambda expression we can uh, write by using uh, we can assign this uh, lambda expression with the help of predefined functional interface okay so here we are going to write predicate predicate and this is uh, predicate which is equals to this is the predicate okay so this number this number is which type this number all this number as uh, which type what type this number is having uh, integer type so if if what is the issue so you will get percentage cannot be applied to java dot dot object so it it should not be object type it should be integer type integer means wrapper class integer okay that is the integer type so what we will do we will write one uh, for for and we will iterate int uh, int number int int num int num and uh, I, I am just iterating the array i am just iterating the array nothing i am doing so 
this condition this condition i will write this is the predicate i have written okay now it's the time to find the uh, even and odd number okay so we'll take one list okay we'll take one list of type uh, type integer okay so integer and this is uh, even even list even list which is equals to now which equals to new the implementation class will provide okay this is the this is the one uh, we have written and we will copy this one and it, this one is the odd list okay i will let i will write an odd list okay so what i have done i have written uh, even list and odd list so even number will be stored in this list and odd number will store in the in this list okay what we have written we have written the predicate predicate is having one uh, test uh, we have written the condition on which uh, condition this expression should evaluate okay so what uh, this predicate is having one test method okay which will evaluate this expression okay so what we are going to write this predicate dot test this test and uh, each and every number we are going to pass okay we are going to write this test okay so we will put in inside the if condition if this condition holds good means uh, on evaluating this expression predicate dot test on the number for each time we will get one one each and number right so that number it will check uh, it will return either true or false i have told you predicate uh, predicate is a boolean value function right so it will return uh, some kind of uh, boolean function right uh, either true or false so if it is true then that number is what this is the, that number is even number so what we are going to write we are going to write even list dot add that number that number we simply will add to even number if this condition uh, will not holds good then what we will write we will write else uh, or list dot add and simply we will add the number okay so this that's all uh, this is the condition uh, this is the condition for even and odd so finally what i will write uh, i will write this out uh, simply even list even list is nothing but what even list is nothing but even list and i will copy that and this is odd list and this is odd list simple uh, i'll uh, print this one okay so i'm going to run that you'll you'll find like uh, whatever the number that is uh, that is even it will uh, it is this is the number that is even and this is the odd number isn't it okay so how simple uh, to work with the predicate predicate is nothing but it's a fun predefined functional interface uh, by using which we, uh, what we can do we can efficiently uh, work with the lambda expression okay this is the lambda expression so we are assigning against the this uh, predicate this is since this is a predicate is a predefined functional interface so therefore we are assigning to the target of this uh, lambda expression okay so what we have understood like for this uh, primitive type we have checked now okay so how to work with this uh, predicate okay now what i will do this is the uh, this is the things uh, we have done right to understand this predicate okay so now what i am going to do uh, similarly i am going to uh, write some classes right i am going to write some employee uh, employee class employee class is having private int emp id okay and a private string emp name emp name and uh, uh, only uh, make it simple uh, just to understand the lamb uh, this uh, predi predicate uh, predefined functional interface right so private double emp salary these are the three fields we'll check okay uh, and uh, i will quickly insert the constructor to make the object uh, uh, fast okay so and then what i'll do i'll insert these uh, getters and setters for all the fields all the fields and uh, finally finally if i go down what i'll do i will insert the two string method as well okay these are the things i have done uh, so i have created employee class the three fields having employee id employee name and employee salary uh, so here i am going to write 
I'm going to write another class for the employee test. Okay, so employee test. Uh, what I'll do? I will write this employee test class and I will uh, perform the operation uh, in inside this class. Okay, so what I'll do? I'll quickly create a list of employee employee object list of employee object. I am trying to create. Okay, so this should be employee list is equals to. Uh, so I will make arrays arrays dot as list okay uh, arrays dot as list i will create and here i will semicolon and here i will write new employee employee and this is 102 and then john and here this is uh, salary is 3000 okay so this is the employee i should create okay okay uh, so these are the um, these are the things i have added uh, uh, quickly change this one 101 105 and uh, this is uh, 102 1103 okay and this is alex this is smith and this name is uh, bob okay 3000 some 5000 and uh, this is from 30,000 and this is 13,000 uh, 13,000 okay so these are the things uh, I have taken so what I have created uh, I have created one employee list uh, where four objects of there that is there okay uh, employee object there okay so my intention here is to find uh, to find work with the predicate okay so what I will do um, file first I will show you traditional way traditional way traditional way of working with the this one so what i'll do i will create simply for for employee emp so employee emp emp list uh, generally people so my intention is to find uh, the employee whose salary is greater than 5000 okay the employee who is the salary which is having greater than 5000 that i want to find so that i'm going to find show you like how people generally uh, work with the uh, traditional way and with the uh, help of java 8 predicate okay so that i'm going to show you uh, okay so for this one employee list and here i'm going to write if uh, that employee whatever the employee dot get emp salary and which is greater than 5000 uh, 5000 then uh, then what we'll do we'll take one list of list of uh, employee will take and this is a filtered uh, filter list for for example filter list filter list is equals to new the implementation classes our list will take okay so my intention is like uh, whoever the employee having get salary greater than 5000 that i'm going to add into this uh, filter list okay filter list dot add and that emp okay simple i will add and before that i will print i will print this uh, emp list and uh, after this uh, after this one i will print the uh, filter list okay filter list and before that i just wanted to give one uh, okay uh, so to differentiate okay so let me try to run this uh, you will see what you will get yeah this is this is printing all these employees details and this is uh, only filtered uh, this one list filter list okay so which is having salary greater than 5000 30000 and this is 13000 it is showing it is oil and good up to this is oil and good so traditional way we have used so uh, here we are using this if condition okay uh, so if condition uh, this this one is we are using if condition okay so uh, what what is this this is the condition right the conditional check what i have told uh, how when we can use this conditional check so here i will write this conditional check uh, for this employee for each and em every employee 
I just wanted to write this lambda function. This is the uh, this is the lambda function. Okay, this is the lambda function. I just wanted to write. Okay, since this is a lambda function, we can make use of the predefined functional interface as the target type for the assignment okay, of this lambda expression. Okay, so I will write predicate uh, predicate is equals to uh, this one. So it is crying. Why? Because because uh, this is a type of object so we need to write employee type okay employee type okay now the issue has gone okay so what we can do uh, so we have uh, this one uh, so inside this for loop what we can do we have this predicate uh, test method right so same thing we can write with the help of uh, predicate okay uh, predicate dot test and uh, what uh, by iterating this employee list each each and every time will test every for every employee if this condition holds good for this each and every employee then the, whatever the things we are doing before the same thing we are going to write that means uh, we will write filter list dot add and this emp okay whatever the things we are doing here as part of normal things it might be like you are looking like this is a simple pattern why this uh, predicate and all this is well and good right because this since we are writing a simple code so it is not uh, making any kind of different differentiation uh, so if you write uh, light right lengthy lengthy code then that time it will be very useful for example we are writing uh, multiple if and else so what we can do in that case we can uh, write our uh, uh, our this predicate uh, so one at a time like multiple condition that predicate we can pass here okay mm, so similarly uh, so this is the this is this is the things i just wanted to show and let me run this okay so what we are, what we are doing we are uh, we are writing with the help of predicate okay now the same result it is displaying right right okay fine so this is the another way and one more way i just wanted to so you I, the two one i have told uh, one approach i have told but how we can get the uh, filtered list by using the traditional approach and second by using the help of the predicate and another advanced process which i am going to discuss now that we will see in the upcoming videos before that like uh, in order to use the predicate how we can use that i am just giving the uh, hint now okay just uh, like look what i'm doing so what in, instead of doing all this even else so i we can write precisely our code so what we can do we can perform direct operation on this uh, whatever the employee list we have we have the employee list type right? list of employee list on that operation we, we want to filter uh, if we want to filter then we have to perform some kind of operation this stream stream is from the java.util.stream package okay this is from the uh, as you can see java.util.stream package of the stream interface okay uh, so this is the method stream interface stream is the method okay mm, so once that is done what we want we want to filter based on some condition okay if you see uh, see filter filter is taking some predicate okay predicate so what we will do we will write this filter filter and we will pass the predicate what is the predicate we have written already already we have written this predicate right predicate this is the predicate uh, predicate means what predicate means some condition okay so we will pass this condition predicate so this is the predicate we want to pass okay and once that is passed means on this employee list we open the stream and we have filtered out all these once this filter is uh, filter is done then what what we want to do we want to collect all the result into a list what we are doing here we are adding this this into the list when uh, once this condition uh, evaluated then what we are doing if the condition is true then we are adding to the list the same thing we are going to do here dot will collect 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 dot collector dot to list collect collectors collector dot to list these things uh, we'll see a later point of time just understand uh, what we are doing in the traditional way and in the by using the predicate uh, test method uh, condition evaluation and this is the stream api stream by filter method okay the filter is the method returns a stream consisting of the element of the stream that match the given predicate okay the con if this predicate matches the given condition then it will uh, return okay so what we'll do we'll just uh, 
collect into a list okay so what kind of list it will be it will be list of employee okay it will be a list of employee and uh, this is the emp or we can write employee employees okay this is the employees we'll get and if i print this one uh, employees then what result we are going to get okay just let me uh, run this okay i hope you understand this code right uh, even though i have not covered stream and filter all these things what i am doing I, I have told you this is the stream this is a java uh, like java.util stream stream package so we will see later and uh, what we were doing once the stream is opened we are filtering out the filtering out based on this condition and we are collecting uh, as a list and sometimes we can uh, collect as a map as a set uh, all these things we are going to see but for the simplicity to explain this predicate things uh, i just uh, did all these dramas right so whatever the result we are getting out of this one and the same result we are getting here okay isn't it so i have shown you for the salary maybe in your interview like some if interviewer will ask uh, for show me the employee whose salary or whose name is some starting with l or something so that that things we can do okay once we like uh, st uh, move forward with our uh, with our topic then i will show you each and everything no need to worry just focus uh, i hope after this uh, this much explanation the predicate is clear to you people okay and in the next class we will meet in the another concept right uh, and there are uh, plenty of things like buy predicate consumer supplier all these things no need to worry okay we focus i am going to explain each and everything like how i have explained the predicate same way i am going to uh, give you for all these uh, whatever the predefined functional interface we have for all these things i am going to give you uh, with with the example okay okay so that's all for this video uh, we'll meet in the next class thank you